Hi, everybody. So for today's activity, we're going to learn our shape of the week. Shape of the week. Let's find out our shape of the week. Our shape of the week has three sides. One, two, three. Can you think of a shape that has three sides? Hmm. I can think of one. I'm thinking of a triangle. Right. Our triangle has one, two, three sides. Awesome. Now, let's spell triangle together because for our craft today, we're going to have to work on it also. We're going to write it two times. Let's work on it the first time. Ready? Ta, ta. Whoa. Oops, sorry. T. R, R. R. I. I. A. A. N, N. N. G, G. G. L, L. L. E. Triangle. Triangle is a long word. Let's see how many syllables are in triangle. Triangle. How many claps was that? Triangle. Three syllables. Hey, three syllables and three sides of a triangle. That's kind of fun. All right. So what you're going to need for this craft today, some glue. I'm using a glue stick today, huh? Instead of glue, the liquid glue a pair of scissors don't forget always be safe and i'm going to use this yellow piece of paper and my yellow construction paper is going to be vertical today not horizontal but vertical and at the bottom i have a rectangle where i'm going to write triangle on my own and you can help me too and write it on your paper also so first things first before we make our craft Let's write our name on the back. I wrote A-L-L-I-E, because that's my name. So you can go ahead and write your name. If you need a little time, pause it, go for it, all right? So that's for our activity today. We're gonna start by writing our name. Then, oh, you know what else I forgot to show you? Silly me, a large triangle. And what we're gonna do is use our scissors to safely cut out our triangle. We have one side already cut right at the bottom. And then I'm going to cut up and down and I'm going to use my scissors safely, all right, to cut that out. But before we do that, let's go ahead and write triangle on the bottom. Now, remember how we spelled triangle earlier, right? T-R-I-A-N-G-L-E. Remember a long word, triangle. So let's start one letter at a time. We read from left, we read from, whenever we're reading a book or reading your numbers or letters, we read from left to right. So let's start here with T. The first word of the letter I'm going to write is T. T, T, T. What's next? R, R, R. What's after R? I, I. Good eye. Left to right. Ah, uh, ah, uh, a. Good. What's after a? Awesome. Na, na, n. What's after n? Good g. What's after g? La, la, l. Like for lion. And a, eh, a. Eh. E or elephant, my favorite. All right, sweet. I'm gonna put my whiteboard aside. Now, I have triangle written at the bottom of my paper. So go ahead and write triangle on the bottom too. If you have letters to trace it, perfect. Go ahead and trace. If you can write it all by yourself, awesome. Do it to it. All right, so next up, I'm going to cut out my Square? No, my oval. No, my triangle, good. So I take my scissors, remember, scissor safety. Don't cut our hair, don't cut our clothes, don't put them near our faces. We use scissors to cut our, 
Awesome. Paper. Thumb. Small. Fingers large. Wrist to the sky. And we're going to open shut. Open shut. All right. Let's be safe. Ready? Make sure you can see. Open shut. No rush. No worries. All right. We take our time. And then there's a sharp corner. So I stop rotate right because we're not curving it i stop and then continue from here open shut Ta -da. done now i finished cutting my triangle put my scissors safely right we close cover and put down now i have my triangle and my scraps recycle your scraps now what do i do with this triangle but I'm going to put it on my paper. All right. I'm going to put mine towards the center, but put yours where you'd like. I'm going to use my glue stick and I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Maybe I'll put a little up here, a little down here, and a little on this side. I'm going to have to use it on the table. So, excuse me. I'm putting it down on the table so you guys might not see me put it on. But see how I have glue here? It's very sticky. Now I'm going to take my triangle. I'm going to put it right about here and then I'm gonna press 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 let's count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ta da! I'm sure you have your triangle pressed and on your paper like so too. I'm gonna to put a little bit more here so it doesn't fall off. Sweet. Now we have our triangle. We wrote the word triangle. Next thing we're going to do is read the top here. And at the top of my paper, it says, draw things around you that are shaped like a triangle. Now, I'm going to look around my, my, I'm going to look around my surroundings. I see a rectangle. I see a square. Hmm. But I don't quite see any triangles. But that's okay, because we're going to use our imagination. And if you don't see any triangles around you, you can do the same. So what are some things that might be shaped like a triangle? Hmm. I know. This is my favorite fruit. So delicious. And it's good for you. We don't eat the outside because the outside is the rind. And sometimes you might even find some seeds in it. What fruit is that? <laughs> I try my best, right? <laughs> good. It's a watermelon. Love watermelon especially when it's in the fridge and it's all cold. Mmm, delicious. Now, what are some other things that are shaped like a triangle? It could be another type of food. It could be something that maybe you might find in your house. It could be something that maybe you find outside. Hmm, I know. This you might be able to find in the water or maybe even in your bathtub if you have one. It has a couple of shapes in this, but I'm looking at the, what's this? Good, it's a boat. And on the boat at the top, this part is what shape? Right, same, same, it's a triangle. And this triangle is the sail of the boat, which is why it's called a sailboat. So I'm gonna write sailboat. And if you need help writing your words, go ahead and ask mom and dad to help you or whoever is with you, maybe it's your guardian or um, grandparents or aunt and uncle or friend. Go ahead and ask them for help with writing the words or you can try your best to sound it out and we've got a sailboat watermelon and i'm thinking of one more food that's quite tasty you can have for lunch or dinner and uh let me go ahead and draw it. i'm gonna make my triangle actually upside down this time there's a little hint but it, guess what even though it's upside down it's still a triangle because it has one two three sides it's got a crust I know what it is. I'm going to put pepperoni on mine and maybe a little bit of olives or something. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's pizza. Very good. P-I-Z-Z-A. Sweet. So we finished our triangles of the day for our shape of the week. I can't wait to see yours. Remember, just try your best, but also have fun with it, right? We want to be proud of our work but also have a good time because this is fun and exciting and we're learning something new. All right, you guys have a good day. See you later.